So in this video, we will learn about social media strategy, what it is and how to make some strategies to make your post visible. Uh, in this presentation or in this video, we will learn about social media statistics, social media strategies, content marketing strategies, and some examples. Words of inspiration, content marketing is a commitment, not a campaign. You cannot uh, simply make a post without having a proper campaign in your mind. It has to be a proper campaign based on research, on proper call to action, proper caption, hashtags, and uh, a very beautifully designed post, which include all the design elements. So these, are, uh, these are the some stats of social media, Facebook 2.89 billion, Instagram 1.07 billion, Twitter 199 million, LinkedIn 740 million you, and YouTube 122 million daily viewers. Social media strategies, uh, your social media strategies totally depend on, the, uh, depend, uh, on your audience, like uh, what's the gender of your audience, age, lifestyle background and the income choose platform that way you want to post whether on facebook instagram twitter linkedin reddit pinterest create content implement and track and major so all these steps are very important in creating your social media strategies you have to follow these steps to uh, make the strategy Content strategies. Your content cannot can be anything. It's just like a post, video, still post, GIF, article, case studies, stories, reel, etc. Your content should include in-depth research, strong headline, call to action, visual, post on right time, and promotion. So your content should include a proper research at what your content is all about, what you have to write uh, in deadline or in your content, whether it still posts, GIF, article or any case study, it should include a proper research, strong headline, a very catchy headline is very important for all the content. It decides whether you have to spend time on that content, whether you have to read or click that content or not call to action where you want to post your uh, where you want to land your post it should it can be um, a number a website or any link where you want to land your content visual means your uh, post your uh, picture of your content which include a head uh, a proper logo and a proper um, template colors theme and a very uh, interesting and proper for, uh, font which can be read easily. Posting on right time, it's very important you have to post on the right time where when your audience is active. You can uh, define that uh, right time through your insight of your uh, social media account. Promotion. The last thing is promotion that you have to boost your content according to your um, social media accounts or social media you know target audience content pillar your content should be divided like awareness branding and engagement that what your content is all about you have to aware your audience about your product about your service branding tell your uh, unique selling point at what are you good at it and why are you different from your competitors engagement engage your audience engage your customers uh, make interactive posts, engage them with uh, through on comments. If they are, you know, if they are asking any query or comment, do reply them as soon as possible. This will engage them and this will make them your permanent uh, customer or your audience. Content calendar. Your content calendar is based on your client and what they want, uh, what's the theme of the uh, month, 
what uh, what is the special months are coming on this uh, on that specific ma month so your content calendar based totally on your client brief that what they want whether they want to create engagement whether they want uh, they are introducing any new product and they want to uh, create that hype the content calendar include date post copy caption hashtag um, platform where you want to post the right time or the nature of the, or type of the product uh, sorry of the um, content whether it's a gif it's a video it's an article or a case study normally people make calendar uh, calendars on excel sheet or there are some specific um, tools or applications for making content calendar uh, like airtable it totally depends on the client social media relationship 98% increase in engagement your relationship will improve if you direct with your audience yes this is a very important point you have to direct with your client if uh, whether on um, you know comment section or on message bar where or on anything they want to connect you if you engage with them this will increase the engagement voice on social media uh when you want to define your strategy and when you are planning to make a strategy or you are planning to make a headline of the post or you know visual you have to understand what is the voice on social media you want to promote whether it's modern and up to date young and fresh smart and refined this depends on your brand whether it's you know it's a b2b product or it's a B2C product, it's a business to business product or business to business, business to consumer product. It's totally depend on that. Whether it's a service or whether it's a, you know, NGO or whether it's a fast moving consumer group. So that's uh, totally depend. The voice totally depends on the brand. Posting. Posting on all platforms together. This will increase the reach if you posting on all the platforms on their right time posting on right time when your audience is active yes the post should include proper caption call to action website hashtags number website link or any link you want to lend your you want to uh, lend your post boosting your social media presence invest more on social ads be more active on social responses be seen on other platforms Track and measure. Track your ad with how it is performing, like how many reach, how many views, engagement, and clicks you are getting from your boosting ad. This thing will tell you about the efficiency level of your ad, that how many likes you are getting, how many views you are getting. Okay, now let's watch a video. Social media trends you need to understand. You want to utilize these social media trends. Number one, dynamic ads. Using tools like Facebook's personalized ads, which change format based on who's seeing it, gives you the opportunity for serious targeting. Consumers can purchase right through the social platform instead of being redirected to another website. That means they're more likely to go through with the transaction because there are fewer roadblocks. Number two, augmented reality and virtual reality. Social platforms that already have an integrated camera option offer the perfect opportunity to develop this type of marketing campaign. For example, a furniture store can create an AR powered app that places a chair in your apartment so that you can see how it fits with the rest of the decor. Number three, nano influencers. Since influencers tend to charge a lot, brands are now making them rationalize their fees with harder, more effective data. As a result, nano or micro influencers are getting their time to shine. Small sized influencers have very dedicated followings, which means higher quality, even if there's lower quantity. Number four, social communities. Brands are prioritizing creating online communities of core audience members. Within those groups, members can interact with one another and with the brand. This type of close-knit private community is unbeatable when it comes to getting feedback 
asking for suggestions, sharing customized content, and solving problems. Number five, social chatbots. Chatbots of the past left a lot to be desired. They could only offer the most basic type of support, which left users still needing to talk to a person. Enter artificial intelligence power chatbots of 2021. They're wiser and much more helpful, and they can actually make a difference. Users get their issues solved quickly and without having to speak with an actual human. Number six, smarter targeting. If you've only used basic demographics, it's time to branch out. Treat your audience like it's made up of complex people with varying interests and purposes. Target your ads based on more emotional demographics, like what they're passionate about. You'll reach a wider audience that's not limited by defining features that don't actually matter. And finally, number seven, richer metrics. The metrics you used at the start may not be the same you care about now. Which metrics matter most to you now? Are you focusing on comments and direct interaction with customers? Or do you care more about users taking specific actions or how much revenue results from a campaign? Service level metrics aren't super worthwhile anymore. For example, what's being talked about is now more important than how many people are talking. In addition to new trends, don't overlook ones that aren't slowing down. This includes ephemeral content like stories on Instagram and Snapchat, user generated content, live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, as well as video content in general, including short form like TikTok. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.